Hi guys, this is Vijay and I hope you are doing well. In this video lecture, uh, we will discuss on classification of boiler. First of all, what is boiler according to IBR? According to Indian boiler regulation, it is a closed pressure vessel in which it is produced by the combustion of fuel. Combustion means it is the chemical process with the presence of oxygen and carbon. And uh, whatever the heat is uh, generated, uh, during the combustion, it is supplied to water for its uh, conversion into steam at the desired temperature and pressure. It is called boiler. So, boiler is a device in which the chemical energy of fuel, it will be converted into heat energy and this heat energy is utilized to generate the steam. Now, we will classify the boiler. Uh, we can classify the boiler according to the contents inside the tubes. Uh, according to the content, we can classify the boiler, fire tube boiler and water tube boiler okay so here you can see that inside the tubes the combustion will be take place okay or we can say flue gases are there it is called fire tube boiler and uh, water tube boiler means uh, inside the tubes water will be there it is called water tube boiler so uh, these are the example of fire tube boiler lankenshire boiler this is a lankenshire boiler and this is the locomotive boiler okay in olden days uh, we are using uh, locomotive boiler in railway locomotive engine but nowadays we are using diesel engine and electric engine and uh, water tube boilers the example of water tube boiler is Babcock and Wilcox boiler the next classification of boiler according to the position of cell okay according to the position of cell we can classify the boiler horizontal boiler and vertical boiler so if the cell will remain horizontal then it is called horizontal boiler and if the cell will remain vertical then it is called vertical boiler. So, the locomotive boiler and uh, Lankenshire boiler are the example of horizontal boiler and the Cochran boiler it is the example of vertical boiler because here the cell will remain vertical. Okay, In some of the boiler uh, if the cell is inclined then it is called inclined boiler. The next classification according to the firing system externally fire boiler and internally fire boiler. So, in externally fire boiler, the combustion will be take place outside. It is called externally fire boiler. And uh, internally fire boiler means uh, the combustion will be take place inside. It is called internally fire boiler. Okay, so the externally fire boiler, the examples are uh, Babcock and Wilcox boiler. Uh, in internally fire boiler, the examples are uh, Lankenshire boiler and uh, coach run boiler. The next classification of the boiler according to the nature of circulation, force circulation and natural circulation. We know that in the concept of heat, okay, in case of a liquid or a gases, the uh, heat will be transferred due to the density difference. So, in natural uh, circulation, okay, there is no any requirement of uh, pump or blower. Okay, uh, we can transfer the heat uh, due to density difference. It is called natural circulation. And uh, in case of force circulation, uh, we require the uh, pump uh, to pressurize the liquid or to circulate the liquid. It is called force circulation. So, the La Mount boiler, Velox boiler and Benson boilers are the example of the force circulation uh, in which uh, boiler uh, we are using force circulation. And uh, uh, in this boiler, Lankenshire boilers and uh, Babcock and uh, Wilcox boiler, okay, we are not using any pump. So, the uh, heat transfer in a fluid, it will be take place due to density difference. It is called natural circulation. So, we can also classify the boiler according to the nature of circulation, force circulation and natural circulation. The next classification of the boiler according to the pressure range. High pressure boiler, uh, its uh, range is greater than 80 bar. Uh, the examples are uh, Velox boiler, Benson boiler. Okay, These are the example of the high pressure boiler. Medium pressure. Uh, the examples are uh, Lankenshire and locomotive boiler and low pressure boiler. Uh, the examples are uh, Cochran boiler and Cornish boiler. Okay, so the range for the low pressure boiler is uh, 3.5 bar to 10 bar. And uh, for high pressure boiler, the pressure range is greater than 80 bar. And if the range is in between uh, these two range, then it is called medium pressure range boiler. So we can also classify the boiler according to the pressure range. The next classification of the boiler according to the number of tubes. Uh, according to the number of tubes, we can uh, classify the boiler single tube boiler and multi tube boiler. 
so in uh, cornish boiler here you can see that only one tube is there it is called single tube and uh, in this boiler okay we are using multiple tubes means more than one tubes so uh, these are the example of multi tubes boiler lankenshire boiler babcock and wilcox boiler and locomotive boiler okay these are the multi tube boilers we can also classify the boiler according to uh, the movement or position uh, we can say stationary and portable okay so lankenshire uh, and babcock wilcox are the stationary boiler okay one time it is fixed or one time it is installed uh, then after it is not move from one place to another place but in case of a portable boiler it, or uh, we can say it is a uh, movable boiler okay locomotive boiler in olden days we are using uh, steam engine as a railway locomotive okay it is the example of portable boiler thank you friends for watching this video i hope uh, this content it will be helpful to you to understand the classification of boiler in details